there was four Packer offensive linemen here because they were in pitch perfect two, right? Pitch perfect two. And they were all here, and they showed off their singing voices with Clay Matthews in that one. But last night, this man was front and center. His, his beard-chugging ability appears second to none, and, uh, and it went viral. He is none other than David <laughs> Bakhtiari here on the Rich Eisen Show from the Green Bay Packers. How are you, David? <laughs> I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Um, is, is, is this, and this is with all due respect, because you're an all-pro player, you know, a Pro Bowl guy as well, is this the, the best uh, skill that you have, David, is shotgun and beers that we saw last night? Um, I, maybe, I mean, I, I hadn't tapped into that. Time. No, 12 <laughs> is getting a little bit of heat. He just, he just couldn't finish David. There was just no fin. There was no burst. You know what I mean? There was no burst. It's lack of burst. Yeah. I mean, um, I'm not going to speak on his behalf, <laughs> but, uh, I will say that, uh, at least on my end, uh, they were smooth, they were cold and they did taste well for the amount of time that I was able to uh, taste them. I told you Brock when he was going to protect Aaron Rodgers coming on this show. That's your default, right, David? You will protect Aaron Rodgers every single day, every single situation that you could possibly be in in that position. Correct, David? I mean, right? I mean it's, it's my job. It's kind of uh, yes. become second nature at this point. So, I, I mean, that's my guy. That's my quarterback. That's my guy. I mean, I'll, I'll be on his beer chugging team. I'll help him out. Yeah, so, because uh, to me, I just said on the previous segment, David Bakhtiari here on the Rich Eisen Show, that to me, uh, again, I'm not a beer chugger uh, by trade. Like, if, if pressed, I would do. Uh, and I think I could accomplish. But normally, I'm a wine guy. Uh, I, Aaron looked to me like he normally sips when he has some sort of alcoholic beverage. As you said, scotch guy, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, the guy drinks scotch like a fish drinks water. So, I mean, I've, I've seen it. Like, when we were at the Kentucky Derby, I saw, I mean, the guy can definitely enjoy that. Now, beer, I mean, I think, I think that's more of a lineman thing, I guess. Yeah. And, again, that, did, that dates back to uh, my college. Mm. I don't know where it's still, a, I mean, I guess it's still sharpened, that, uh, that talent of mine. But it had been a while since I had enjoyed beer like that. Now, did Yelich know that he was getting involved in this too, or that was just a total audible as well, David? <laughs> that was a hundred percent audible. That was, <laughs> we'll have a beer right in front of you and get that camera on you for the next TV timeout. Okay. And he said, "All right, let's do it." About five minutes later, he's standing up like gladiator, <laughs> enjoying the fans, and then down to the beer. And I couldn't have been prouder. Just it- two MVPs at chugging the same night. I mean. That's an accomplishment in and of itself. David, that is an accomplishment. No one can ever take that away from you. Nobody can ever take that away from you, no matter how hard they try. Now, Yelich did see, again, uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm an observer. That's what I do for a living. Did see there was a little spillage, though. That he did, that there was a little struggle towards the end, but he did finish. He did finish last night, right? True. No, exactly what you don't want to happen when it comes to chugging the beer. Now, I know. Plus, two, everybody expects an athlete to be able to do it, David. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, certainly in Wisconsin, everyone expects to I be. I think, you know, theme for this week is many are called, but few are chosen. <laughs> now, okay, let's cut to Monday. Let's, let's, let's assume the deer is, in fact, fearsome in game six. And we're back in Fiserv being overserved on Monday. Do you give Aaron Rodgers any tips on how to finish this time because we can have it a second time. We, this this can't happen again. I think we can potentially all agree on that slippery slope, David. What what what, what do you say to that in terms of giving tips to twelve? Should this happen again? I say you either redeem yourself, which I know the competitor in him would would, would do, <laughs> or go with what go with what works for you. Grab okay. that scotch, and I mean, I don't think anyone would think anything less of a man who slams his scotch in front of the fans okay. for game seven when they're back at home. But if it is a beer, I mean, you got to stand up. That's number one, right? I mean, it's, you got to stand up. You got to use gravity. Uh, Gravity is your friend. You got to stand up. You got to hold from the top too, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, you, the, the angle of the beer plays a big factor when chugging. <laughs> the less angle and slope that you have for the beer to flow, 
you know, the slower it's going to be, the more your throat's going to want to try and overcompensate and swallow. And next thing you know, you're going to be caught behind the eight ball and kind of having that freak out moment. Mm -hmm. That's a great. You got to attack it. You have to attack it. Yeah, I see you. Your your style is to hold from the top. I mean, Aaron, as you know, was like holding from the bottom. He 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 kind of palmed it. You you're you're going from top down and just tilting and going. You're opening up and just swallowing. That's what I see. Yeah. Uh, I, again, this is all from the college days. Back in Didn't me. practice. This is just kind of <laughs> by nature. I'm going to default mode. Now, when you uh, went to uh, David Bakhtiari, a few more minutes left here with uh, the Packers offensive lineman. When you went to the Derby with, uh, with Aaron, did you guys have maximum security? Did anybody bet on Country House? What, what was that situation? Did anybody cash the ticket? That day, um, you know, this was the most I've won. Now I think this is my third Kentucky Derby. This is the most I've won, so I only lost a little bit this trip. Um, no, no one hit big. I know last year Jimmy Graham came up. I think it was about almost fifteen grand. He he had a good number, but this year there was no big winners. Well, we're showing a, vid- a shot of you guys, the posse, if you will. And David, I say this with the only ultimate respect. That maroon, um, that maroon suit that you're wearing, uh, it looks like a very dumb and dumber type shirt and outfit. Was that what you were going for? Without the top hat, obviously. Um, I, I wasn't. Uh, <laughs> you know, I was. Uh, I was trying to be stylish, but I think being a, a very big man trying yes. to fit into a little suit, fat guy in a little suit, <laughs> it's always tougher to look stylish. And go with the exotic colors. But you know what? When it's Derby weekend, I, tr- I try to pull it all off. And if it ends up being the Dumb and Dumber look, I'll take it. I had little horses on my shirt. I had a lot of fun with it. It was, was that? a, a is... suit by Alba. They're great. And uh, um, it fit perfectly. Because um, I, I can't see the design on the photograph. It looks like that ruffled sort of shirt. So it's, it's just a flat shirt, but it's horses with a regular white collar. That's what you got working right yeah. there. Okay. Exactly. Then my bad. Then my bad. Now, do you know, again, not to make this like an anch- the end of Anchorman here, but you know Brady is going to be rolling in with his guy and his posse, and you know you've got your own 12 here rolling in. Is there some sort of competition about dress, about anything, showing up at the Derby with Aaron Rodgers, knowing Brady's bringing his posse as well, David? Oh, no. It's, it's, it's all fun. Um, okay. We end up getting about four tables next to each other, and it's just a riot. You know, we're mixing and matching. We're, you know, sharing drinks. We're talking about who's betting on who. Everyone's rushing over to place their bets. I mean, it's it's a really big party. I gotta say, Brady's group they 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 come and they're they're very loud. <laughs> they they bring the speaker. They 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 let everyone know that they're there, and it's awesome. They bring so much energy into that environment. It's fantastic. So you're mingling. You're the Brady and, and Aaron Rodgers groups are mixing at the at the Derby. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, fantastic. I didn't know that you guys were all hanging out like that. That's that's very United Nations. That's like bringing together as one, David. I am been, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm very pleased to hear that piece of information. All right. Well, um, I, do I say congratulations based on uh, the evening from last night? Um, no, not yet. Okay. When we go back for Game Seven. Oh. And when I when I do the beers the right way, and how any more how how many I need to do to get it done to have them win, that's when we'll get a congratulation. Okay, so it's got to be four, right? I mean, you you got to have it ready at your feet, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll be honest; it's pretty funny. I literally got handed beers on a silver platter last night when I showed up. <laughs> There's a presentation of of beers on the silver platter with cups. They're like, here is your your weapons. Um, do as you will. As like an assassin, like rolling out, like looking at all of his utensils. I'm like, okay, here we go. I got I got to prep. I got to get ready. I got to get the foam down, make it nice and easy. To make sure they're in the cups. It's always easier inside the cup. And I was gonna <laughs> have at it. So I guess yeah. If it needs to be four, okay, I'll do four. If it needs to be five, I'll do five. As many until the Packers tell me no more because now it's uncomfortable for us and we need you to stop. Uh, yeah, I think that's when I'll pull back. I love it. And you send one over to Drake too, wherever the hell he is, and see what he can do with that, David. Oh yeah, I'd love to see that. You know what I mean? I think that would be great. Oh yeah. 
Well, David, I appreciate you calling in. It's been too long. Hopefully, this will just be a regular thing with uh, having you on the show just chatting. Really appreciate it. Absolutely. That was fun. Hey, it had been a while. I appreciate it, Rich. You Thank got you. it. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun, not just last night, but uh, today, too. Thanks for the call, bud. Of course. You got it. That's David Bakhtiar, Packers offensive lineman. The John Wick of beer sluggers. <laughs> for more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.